All right, last but not least, we have Yo Mama's ass. Just kidding. What is going on, guys? Riot here playing Ark Survival Evolved. Checking out, they're playing in the Ark Dev Kit. Checking out some creatures that, some more creatures, like in addition to the video a few days ago, where there's just a few more things that are almost completed and they look so damn awesome. I couldn't help myself but to do another, another Dev Kit video and show them off because, like, why not be excited for what's coming out? You know. The first thing we're looking at, I'm just hopping right into this, is the Iguanodon, this creature right here. Of course not this size, I just always make a giant one because it's just cooler to look at things in a giant fashion, you know? I love how it delicately places its fingers on the ground too, like a blind guy reading braille. It's actually very fancy. I like this kind of thing. This creature needs to be added to the aisle so bad because it just seems like such an awesome herbivore to have in your world. Look at this guy, he's just dancing around. This looks like in Spore when you have to dance to like become friends with other creatures. It's exactly what this what this guy's doing right now. Look at him barely touching his fingers to the ground. Is he an ancestor of ours? Why does he look somewhat primal? This guy I'm so excited for. Apparently he has like two different sides. He has like a, what's it called? What, 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 what are they? A, a biped and quadruped. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. It's like it's very simple. Behind quad two and four. It has either two options. It, joking. It could either be a biped where it stands up on two legs or a quadruped where it's on four. Apparently it's quicker and agile, or more agile on two when it's a biped standing up. It also has more of an attack, or the only attack possible when it's a biped because it needs its claws to attack, and it can't attack when it's running on all fours. Apparently though, when it is quadruped, when it's when it is running on all fours, it has like infinite stamina, even when sprinting, so it's like, it does have its nifty little skills. I love how all creatures have their own skills and abilities and like, things that are useful about them now. That's It wasn't always like that. I mean, it's been like for a while, but it wasn't always like that. Look at this cute little son of a bitch. He's like just the size of us two, a little bigger. He's the perfect guy to have around base. These kind of dinosaurs I have a special place in my heart for because it's, they're, they're not amazing in combat. They're just kind of amazing to have around base. Just pretty it up, spice it up a little bit. Something you'd actually have in real life. Wouldn't say there's much more use to these guys than there are with like standard creatures because like apparently they're good at, you know, picking berries and that kind of crap. But isn't every herbivore nowadays? Otherwise, I think their main ability, their main thing they bring to the table is that infinite sprint. They're, they're a herbivore that can harvest with infinite sprint. Not to mention it can stand up and be quick and agile. Generally a cool guy, Iguanodon. Not really sure where the name comes from. I should have researched it, but what's the point? I just thought it was like that, you know, iguanas are green, Iguanodon's green, Iguanodon. But <laughs> that's that 3 a.m. logic for you. Now this son of a bitch is straight up creepy right here, the lamprey, it's not even in, it doesn't even have a dossier, it's not even officially, there is no evidence, it's like they just want to sneak this horrible thing in there, so this is what it looks like right here, god damn terrifying might I add, it's like a giant mega leech, imagine this thing latching onto your leg, I, I mean I'm sure you notice it almost instantly, you'd have to be pretty damn stupid to not notice this horrible, look at this beast, yeah, I think there's something on my leg, you'd notice for sure. But look at this, look at this monster. Any of you who's watched my channel knows at one point or another I've mentioned a, a dream. I always had like a few dreams when I was in like third, fourth grade where this is what vaginas looked like and it was terrifying. So whenever I see a big circular thing with rows of teeth going inward, it always just a special place in my heart right there. But shit like this should not sneak in just unattached. They're literally attached. Look at this thing, disgusting. Look at its little mouth moving. You make me sick. Yeah, oh god, it's disgusting. Oh god, it looks like a speaker pumping bass out, but since it isn't, it's just foul. That is just what nightmares are made out of. This thing, I literally know zero information about it. It's like, it's not in the dossier, there's no information available. I wonder if it's even going to be added, but it has a name, it has complete animations. It doesn't have colors yet though. A few things in this dev kit video don't have colors, so I apologize for that. Not everything is super nearing completion, just a few things are, like our Iguanodon buddy over there. Either way though, make sure to smack that like button if you guys want to see more things before their future release. That's why I did another video, so many people like the last one. Dude, this is terrifying! This shit better not ever latch onto my leg, or I'm just chopping off my leg. I'm not attaching it, or detaching it, I'm just- I'm just removing the leg. <gasps> what if it ever got a hold of your junk? You'd go Caitlyn Jenner in like two seconds, whenever it starts chewing. Now this little bugger is the Deodon, or Deodon, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Just straight up little war pig, this fella. And the cutest thing about him is, look how little he is, he's such a little fart, but still packs a crazy ass wild punch. He's like, one of the most rabid creatures on the island apparently, next to like, raptors and t-rexes. Like, if you wonder into, not the time to call me, if you wonder, if you wonder into their hunting ground, they are gonna get, they are gonna just chase you down, dude. Like, if you guys ever heard of any boar attacks, wild boars, they may just be up to your kneecaps, but they will destroy, a wild boar could kill a man. I think it's the only creature up to their kneecaps that could kill a grown man without using venom or poison. It's just like, or, or like squeezing them or like claws. 
it just bluntly hits you with his face till you're dead. That shit is nuts. So this thing right here actually looks kind of like Cubone. It looks like Cubone's demon brother. Cubone after he sold his soul to Lucifer. Cool thing about these guys is how able they are to survive. Like their ability to survive is amazing. They're just extremely angry. They're pissed off at everything, and they're omnivores. They have no. They don't care what they eat. They'll put anything in their mouth. Straight up Kim Kardashian's in this shit right now. It's like omnivores are such a special thing because it's just animals can be so picky, and especially this little guy because apparently he regenerates health ra <coughs> rapidly fast. I apologize. Like he regenerates. Look at that bite, Jesus Christ! That is like that will rip your ass cheek clean off. That's like how do you even replace an ass cheek? I don't know if you get burnt, they put ass skin on it. But what do they replace an ass with? So yeah, this rabid little dog devil right here actually repairs health very quick. I might have just mentioned that I can't remember, but he repairs health very quick. And apparently he does it so by eating. His metabolism is just insane. So he eats like more than any other creature. So that's the only downside, but since he's an omnivore, you can feed him anything. You feed him dog shit, he doesn't care. <laughs> Alright, now this epic beast right here is the lead Zikthes. It's like, it's a giant fish that's coming to an ark near you. It's essentially just food for the most part, that's really all it is. Apparently it's too stupid to tame, regardless of its gargantuan size. Its brain's too small, it can't be domesticated. But apparently it can be harvested while alive, so like, something people will do is just keep multiple of these things in a cage. And you could, I want to get in here and test this out. Well, apparently you can harvest like prime fish from them. So there's like prime meat and prime fish. They're like the prime meat of the ocean. Yep, I was worried about that. Does not work with the bottle, son of a bitch. Anyways, if you hit them, you can harvest them while they're still alive. That's like their main contribution. So obviously they can supply a good amount of food before dying too, and then they could just heal up. So that would be the smart move. Dude, look at when it opens its mouth. What the shits? Look inside of there. It's just a giant whale mouth. It's so well done. These creatures are so well modeled. I love, I love good model dinosaurs. Biggest creatures, Victoria's Secret Supermodel, any kind of model. Any, anything really. This one over here is how big it would be in a perfect world with this insane size. Apparently it is very, ho like, it's not hostile, but like it's just hard to kill in fact. Like it has a good attack. It has incredible swim speed when it charges away from you. And apparently it's hard to detect. I can't see this possibly being hard to find them and kill. I mean, actually I could be see it hard to find but not kill, because we all use modded creatures by now which are freaking insane. But this guy, he's just, I'm so excited for this thing. Anything that makes us feel smaller than the grand worlds. Like this is why I love whales, they make me feel like nothing. But this gargantuan shit just trolling around the ocean. We're just such a small aspect of the world. What's this guy doing? He looks like he got tangled in some fish wire and we have to save him. Wow, look at the life in his eyes. They are actually Jimungus, even without being blown up. Yeah, that's a big ass fish. Hang on. get out of him. It's gonna make the game so much better having this guy in the game. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, sometimes I have like these things planned to say in these videos where I plan on being super descriptive and just well scientific, like diagnosis out the, out the window. But then I get in here and see these crazy creatures and my attention span just shits itself. Alright, now right here we have Nidaria, the like, the crazy ass jellyfish, which apparently hold traits of many different jellyfish. They're like huge, they're bioluminescent, and they're, um, they're hostile. They're not necessarily hostile, but they can't hurt you. So they do hold traits to about three different jellyfish. I can't, I wish, I wish they had the color, colors already, because I'd love to see the bioluminescence. Look at that though, they're basically complete, they have the entire function down so well. This is of course just my standard riot spawning in giant creatures because he wishes they were all giant, but um, it's luckily I don't develop games, because nothing would be actual life-size. Although, a few other things that would take, like, people's recommendations into hand. There's a few creatures a lot of people disagree with how they move around in Ark, so there's a lot of disputes. These guys are awesome, though. Apparently they're so damn dumb as well that you can't tame them. There's really not much of a brain going on in there. They don't even have enough nerve receptors to, like, seek out an enemy and go hostile. So you can't really- they don't- they don't go aggro on you. They're jellyfish. Jellyfish don't chase you. That'd be ridiculous. But what does happen, if you, if you go near them, of course you get stung. And they are extremely, not poisonous, would that be venomous? Let's just call it sedative. It will sedate the crap out of you. It'll knock you, which makes it honestly a very awesome creature. Like, you can't tame it obviously, but like, you could harvest it, could get its sedatives, use that sort of shizzle. I can imagine whatever this thing drops is extremely good with knocking things out. Preferably, I would just say, I wish you could like, still cage them, even things that you can't domesticate. Have them breed and stuff like that. I'm sure everyone would have some crazy fish tanks in their base full of coal and salmon. But then you could just have like your whole naval area behind your base littered with these guys. Like try and swim in, you're gonna get stuck. Oh, but they glow in the dark. Damn it! They, they can't really sneak them in, but still, figure something out. I can't wait for these things, personally. I can't wait for all these things to be added. I'm just a little kid in a freaking toy store. These guys, these giant eels, these would be the part of this video that I'm by far most excited for. 
Like these guys are freaking, this is obviously just a giant one, so don't mind him. Regular old size, even the regular size one though is freaking huge. Look at the size of this monster. Look at that beast. That's terrifying. I could straight up grab your leg and pull you down to the deep ends. Are those ears? Ew, it's got Voldemort ears. That's terrifying right there, Voldemort ears. It's vibrating too. Can't imagine that's gonna be used in a weird way. This guy is actually called an Electrophorus. Electrophorus, yeah, it's like, and it's not even an eel. It's like a really long knife fish. It just looks like a giant eel. This guy apparently though doesn't hold much meat on him, which surprised like, so it's not targeted by many predators, but that surprises me though, because it's like, you ever guys ever go to sushi? You ever had eel? It's delicious. Like this, it's, I guess that just makes, he makes you kill more eel. I'm just craving eel now looking at this thing. It's not even an eel. This guy though, apparently hunts like smaller fish, things like that in the ocean. Instead of like by instead of like just a rapidly attacking creatures though, it uses an electro shark shark electro shark an electro shock to like stun its enemies into subdue. Like it'll just tase you to sleep. It's essentially a police taser in creature form. And like just one creature stunning you can knock out a small creature. But apparently these things can also attack in droves, like in large packs. And when they're all stunning something together, it could bring down any size creature in the ocean, regardless of what it is. And then they just have a giant feeding frenzy. Which I can imagine is the most horrifying shit in the world, to be honest. Like, that just sounds... That sounds horrific, seeing, like, 20 of these things swimming around just eating something. Of course, they are tameable and very useful, since they do torpor damage in the water. You can just get one of these, supercharge it, get, like, 20, and then just sick them on a creature, and they'll knock it out almost instantly with electricity! And that shit is awesome to me. I'm so excited for these creatures. Not to mention they look like giant serpents. I'm so naming mine Nagini when I get it. And I'm gonna make all kinds of Harry Potter Voldemort reses. Re reses. References. Can't speak. I'm only gonna whisper too. Parcel tongue. The whole series. Alright, last but not least, we have Yo Mama's Ass. Just kidding. It's the Megalania. This creature, it's like essentially the Komodo dragon, right? That's what it is. It's like the ancient version. It's by far one of the most epic things we have to look forward to. It's gonna be insane. This one, probably more than any other creature here, I hope there's a giant form like this. Like, I know obviously some... Uh, some mod, probably Mystic Academy, that awesome guy will throw these in, just like giant creatures, because these things have a nifty ability no other creature on Earth possesses. They could travel up vertical walls, cave walls, anything. I guess they're typically found in caves, can grow to be about three meters long, what we're looking at right now. They are venomous, like exactly like Komodo dragons. Except Komodo dragons aren't venomous, since their saliva just has so much toxins in it or whatever that once it enters your bloodstream, you die. These sons of bitches, it's pretty much the same thing. It's slow acting poison, which drains your health and strength, which are two things you need. It doesn't even knock your ass to sleep. It drains your health and strength. That, those are two very crucial things. The son of a bitch just taking a nap. But yeah, these things, they can climb up walls. They can climb up the side of walls. You know how useful that'd be with like raid attacks, just base defense, just getting around your, in your neighborhood for the most part. I'm so freaking excited for these things just to go climbing up the side of walls. I'm gonna have like, oh my god, I just couldn't imagine a raid, like 20 guys all on these going up the side of a mountain. They'd probably lose the raid to be honest, because once they get up there, it's gonna be a bunch of guys on Gigas and Spinos and Rexes. But getting up the side of the mountain part would be awesome. Maybe if no one's online, just a couple people, they go up the side, that'd be awesome. Or if they were just this goddamn big, that'd be amazing. I honestly can't decide what I'm most excited for. Probably not the jellies, probably not the giant fish over there. The eels! Or not the eels, but but you know what I mean. Those guys, that electricity, that's gonna be so useful. Iguanodons, you're just adorable. Lampreys, you're a fucking nightmare. These things are cool, but they're basically just angry little pigs to keep around base. These, oh, it's between these two right here. I can't decide which one I'm more excited for. This one's probably coming way sooner though, because the colors are already done. But damn it! It's gonna be so cool to knock out water, or water creatures with ease, like extreme ease. Or just to be climbing up the side of walls with extreme ease. Both of them sound amazing. This whole episode's like laxative. So much extreme ease. So yeah, make sure to comment down below which creature you're most excited for between these two. It might be one of these guys also though. I don't know you. I don't know all you guys as people. You have personalities of your own. You might be a crazy person who just wants to lamp ray at him. But this thing, dude, I can't get over the possibilities. Did I take a shit in the middle of my mod review? Or my dev kit? Okay, well if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!